Hello, welcome back to the Telegraph Land Rover Challenge, where each week a former rugby international takes it in turns to beat England's Will Greenwood on a time trial around a rugby-inspired Land Rover experience course. At the end of the tournament, the player with the most points will win this frankly beautiful and exquisitely designed incredible trophy. Just look at that. Now, last week, Italy took on England, but to be honest, his ball handling skills were mm, slightly below par. This week, though, it's England versus France. But first, let's recap the rules. The guys are going to get into a Discovery 4 and drive around the rugby-inspired Land Rover Experience course. They're going to get five points for each ball they hit and lose five points for each corner flag they touch. Stage 2 is the Rugby Skills Challenge, getting two points for each ball going through the hole and ten points for hitting the crossbar. But right now it's time to say bonjour and vive la France. Yeah, you join us discussing hair, myself yeah. and Thomas. The only two members of today's six who've dyed our hair blonde to, to attract the attention. Uh, I wasn't the one who on my first cut though dropped a goal to beat England at the old Parc des Princes and stuck my tongue out. That mm. was, must have been a pretty special moment. Uh, I didn't expect to do that, to be honest. I closed my eyes, just kicked into the ball, you know, and it went through the post. But it, I was so happy because so many years waiting for that victory. That was good. Dude, good luck, get in there, and I'll be watching and giggling. <laughs> I cannot see the ball. Can you show me? Job, no? <laughs> It'll be hard to do better, I think. <laughs> CC, Thomas, come on, how'd you get on? What have you done? I know it's off road. What have you done to the car? Someone's really going to have to clean. You no, know, in France, we always go to the limits. Yeah. November, France, yes. Australia. What on earth happened? Well, it was difficult. I think, um, I think we made many changes, you know, in the French team. I need to come back to the basics, you know. We know we're strong in the forwards. We know we got abilities in the backs, but we need to come together. Are you in a situation now heading towards the World Cup in a group with New Zealand mm. that France can feel confident? The good point about having New Zealand in the group is that we can only meet them during the final after, but yes. the main problem is that meeting New Zealand doesn't seem to be the main problem for France, it's meeting the English. Yes. And you know about that. We Every time we, we play the English, we lose. And, we and might that's painful. As regards this Six Nations, as regards coming to Twickenham again, you've had not a great record. I think mm. France and England are they're trying to find a way about, of playing, you know. They try to be entertaining, but the main point is winning games. Well, let's bring Rob in yeah. and see what scores you've I, got. I, I, um, <laughs> it's a very close thing. Is it? Um, yes. Uh, it's, we only had one of the corner markers touched. Touched, OK, mm. pretty yeah. impressive. And yeah. we had every ball touched. And he went for this one twice. Yeah, Indeed. Yeah, yeah, when yeah, it well. twice, he's hit the full house. Yeah. It's all going to come later on down to the passing and it see how we well get on there. come down to that now. I wanted to beat you on your ground. Dude, and, uh, unfortunately, you'll find that. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you later. Well done, brother, and we'll see, see you. you soon. Cheers, buddy. Always a pleasure to see you, not on the pitch. <laughs> ah, well, there you go. There's a Frenchman can... Confirming our stereotypes about our French cousins with the offensive remarks there at the beginning. Anyway, look, press ups, as if that's going to help you, my friend. It's the Rugby Skills Challenge. Two points for getting a ball through the hole, just like that. Well done, congratulations. And um, ten points if he gets the ball over the crossbar. Not many people are having very much luck with this, by the way. Neither was the Frenchman. Let's see if he can celebrate any better. And look at that. Fantastic. Nearly doing his back in there, though, because of his age. Uh, that's two points then for balls through the hole and uh, zero points for balls hitting the crossbar. How does that work out in terms of our leaderboard? He's in third place, 52 points, meaning England's Will Greenwood is still in the lead. You can win a chance to compete against me on the East Newcastle Land Rover course. The details on how to enter are on the screen now. Come and have a go if you think you're hard enough. Good luck to you if you're entering that competition. Oh, look, there's Will looking very uh, serious, or some might say suspicious. Next week is England versus Scotland.